and we're going to use one of their templates because we are cooking a beat so let's see produce beats no sample rate 48 i'm gonna click no i don't want to download the the impact kits and the sounds because it's on the pre on spirit membership or whatnot and i don't plan on keep paying the membership i'm probably just gonna buy this so i'm gonna click no here and let's check and see what's going on now with the impact so in the impact as you can see whenever i click anything it's not working it just shuts off so presonus maybe this is something you might want to adjust and fix since it's one of your presets What's the deal, YouTube? It's your man's Veracity TT back again with another tutorial. We about to install this Elise's VI61 inside of Studio 16. Let's go. I was reading online that people didn't know how to get the transport controls to work correctly. All right, so let's click new here. And we're gonna use one of their templates because we are cooking a beat. So let's see, produce beats. No, sample rate 48. I want 32 bit float. Let's do 79 BPM and let's do D sharp minor. So here we are in studio one. Let's click up here where it says control. We're gonna go down to add device right there. So these are all the preset MIDI keyboards and different MIDI devices. If your MIDI device is on the list, it'll be easy. You can just click it in, but we are going to add a brand new device because I don't see Elisis. It's not supported in here. So we're going to just create a new one here. So let's click it in, uh, you know, device name, Elisis VI61 and um in the manufacturer i'll just put elisis right here and receive from we just going to click and click the vi out click that yeah you don't really have to put nothing in here but i just do it i don't know why i do it but i don't think you actually need to use that setting but um yeah okay now once you're in here let me just set up my phone real quick so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click MIDI Learn. Once I click MIDI Learn, I want all of these transport controls here to do a job. So this, 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 these. So tempo and rolls doesn't work or up and down doesn't work. This wasn't meant to be MIDI information to the computer. This meant to control stuff directly on the board. So I guess the board has a small little brand in there. As you can see, it has an LED. So it must have some type of smarts in here. So all we can do is fast forward, uh, fast forward, rewind, stop, play. Um, we can do loop and we can do record. So let's set those up. So I don't want these as knobs. I want them as buttons. I'm gonna do the on and off buttons for these and skip ahead. All right, so we're done with that process. So Studio One has it to where when you select a button like this, this is how you get your transport control to work. So you're just gonna click down, um, you're gonna right click on this button and then you're going to assign command. So let's figure out which button. So you know this is rewind, fast forward, stop. So this is stop. Let's go ahead and name that. Stop. This is play. This is loop. This is record. This is So we got those set up. Now let's set this to rewind. Yeah, 
Yep, just right click inside the box right above the button and uh, select the first option. Transport forward. Then we're gonna also right click do stop. Look for transport, right? Then we wanna do play. Look for the category of transport to find it. And transport, set play, start marker, play from loop, start, play select the range, enable, play from loop, start. Let's do play from loop, start. What if loop isn't on? Yep. All right, so you want play to be this option that I just showed you. Uh, now let's go loop. We want this to turn on the loop button on the transports. Loop. Shift loop, toggle loop. We're gonna toggle loop on and off. Record is recording on the transport, right? Let's see if loop is working. Yes, you see loop is going off and on down here. That's working. Yes, record is working. Stop is working. Play is working. Yep, rewind. And fast forward. Yep, so everything is working. I'm gonna click no. I don't want to download the the impact kits and the sounds because it's on the PreSonus uh, Spirit membership or whatnot. And I don't plan on keep paying the membership. I'm probably just gonna buy this. So I'm gonna click no here. Exit out of this. And also I'm going to make this large. And let's check and see what's going on now with the impact. So in the impact, as you can see, whenever I click anything, it's not working. It just shuts off so presonus maybe this is something you might want to adjust and fix since it's one of your presets um if you don't load that this isn't going to work i can't even assign a sample so if i right click and hit assign add sample i can't do anything however if you click on instruments here type in impact when you do it like this and you add it on your own see now it's working in context of how it should be if you add a sample there it is you can add a sample let's get uh let me hear this real fast Ooh, let's add that let's put a snare right there let's do another snare like a park hit let's see So let me just turn loop on like that, hit record. So you see that guys, we don't want that. So what I want to do is I want to pre, um, let's see what this says. That's pre roll, hit record button, pre count. Let's do a pre count. So when I hit record, I want this to just pre count it in and then we can get going. Yeah, here we go. Yep, all the controls working, y'all. Yeah. That's what you want. Hey, hey, <laughs> that's what you want. You know what I'm saying? So it's working. Everything's good. I just wanted to show PreSonus that little impact bug. You know what I'm saying? Even though you can make your own presets with it working like this, but if you got that in your default page and someone new to Studio One click that, that can hurt it. 
And I want as many users as possible using Studio One so we can get more collaborative features going. And, uh, you know, we all can learn from each other. This program is amazing. It's like it does every single thing. The only thing I feel like it can improve on just a little bit is the tools that we have to create beats. If PreSonus can do that, it's a no-brainer, a no-brainer. This is probably in the top three DAWs you can get. And that's how you get your MIDI controls to work correctly. Now, if you want to do the top buttons, it's the same process for the buttons on there because there's 48 buttons. I'm not sure what you're going to use 48 buttons for, but I don't need 48 buttons. The only use I can see with this 48 buttons on this uh, keyboard is just if I wanted to select the track I'm on. So let's say I can't reach my mixer or something or my mouse, you know, something like that. And I just want to do everything on the keyboard. I can set the buttons to basically select different tracks. Maybe you can turn the buttons into mutes, something like that. Maybe solos, mute solos. Maybe they did it for that. But other than that, I don't really see, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So maybe if you guys want me to figure out some creative uses for the buttons and different things, I can work that out and make a tutorial for you. So leave a comment down in the description below. Thank you for checking me out. I got a lot of more content coming. Go ahead and sub. And I appreciate you guys for watching. You take care and enjoy your Halloween. Peace.